Hi, I'm Sarju Shah. We're here at CES at the NVIDIA booth. We're here to check out the Gizmondo, and uh, Brian here is going to tell us a little more, a little bit more about it. Pretty great. Gizmondo is one of the first commercial devices. It's using the NVIDIA GoForce 3D 4500 chip that we just re recently released. Um, it became commercially available in November, the Gizmondo device, and it should start shipping in volume here in about another month. Could you tell us a little bit more about the Gizmondo itself? Gizmondo is based in the UK, and they're releasing a gaming device that does a lot of multimedia capabilities, video, audio, GPS navigation, GPRS for text messaging, and of course, great 3D gaming, powered by the NVIDIA chip. Do you know the current title list that's out at the moment? They've got a launch title list of around six to eight titles. Actually, they've recently purchased a game developer called Warthog out of the UK, and they're developing a lot of titles, including Richard Burns Rally, one of their popular games for PlayStation 2. What other devices are using the uh, GoForce chip? Well, NVIDIA's been working with lots of different companies in this, the handheld arena, including phone manufacturers, handheld game devices, and PDAs. We've been working with manufacturers like Samsung and LG, MyTag, um, Sendo, Motorola. Uh, actually, the Motorola phone in Europe has been recently shipping and includes one of our GoForce 4000 chips, which has great video capabilities and camera functionality and 2D graphics. Do you see NVIDIA taking a lead in the uh, mobile graphics market in terms of the gaming? In terms of the gaming side as it has the PC side. Yeah, without a doubt. Just the same way that we've been working with console manufacturers like Microsoft Xbox and Sony's next generation console, we're looking at providing the same level of graphics performance capabilities inside of our handheld arena as well. We now have phenomenal 3D graphics, similar to what you would have found on a PC a couple years ago, and a handheld device that won one thousandth of the power so that you get a long battery life and long talk time and standby time. So NVIDIA will be supplying these kind of level of graphics to these manufacturers moving forward into game devices that you carry around with you. Um, so you can imagine in two years' time, the power of an Xbox in your hand, being able to play anywhere you go. What kind of battery life do you see on the Gizmondo at the moment? Right now, I think we're seeing mostly between six to eight hours of battery life. But of course, that depends on the backlight and what you know, whether you've got your Bluetooth active and all kinds of other aspects. What is the current availability of the Gizmondo and the price range? So what, what I've told, what they've told me is that um, they're currently, they, they launched in November, and they're looking to ship to retail stores um, in the uh, next month or so, with the U.S. launch probably by April or so. And they're looking at launching at a price point probably around $399, but they've been quoted as saying that with some of their smart um, advertising and some of the other um, subsidy type things that they can do, that it might be as low as a $99 price point by the end of the year. Thanks, Brian. My pleasure.